Hi everyone, it's Carol here from the stampingground.co.uk and today I'd like to share with you um, how to make this shirt uh, that I've popped on this card. It was shown to me by another demonstrator, Karen Matthews. So thank you Karen for showing us how to make this. It's a ni nice and easy, um, although we had a few laughs when we were um, when Karen was showing us how to pop, pop, put it together. All the measurements um, for the card and, and the shirt will be over on my blog, so don't worry about having to write everything down. The tie, I've actually made a knot on this one, and I'm not quite sure if, if I like it or not, so I'm going to do it a little bit different uh, on the next one. I've used the Designer Series Paper um, Neutrals 6x6, which is full of um, brilliant colours for, uh, for men. So I'm going to use this grey one. And we just need our paper trimmer. And we're going to just chop two inches off so that it, um, it actually measures four by six. Pop that scoring tool out. Now make sure you you move the blade out of the way when, when we're scoring. I'm going to score at one inch and three inch, and then just pop. We need this trimmer, so just pop it to one side and then score uh, burnish your score lines and then just pop it back in the trimmer. And we're going to score it two and three quarter inch. Just give it a couple of uh, scores up and down because we're going through double paper here. And then burnish that well. So that is, the short side is our um, sleeves. So we're going to bend this right back just open it like you would um basically it looks like a, a jacket and then burnish with your um with your bum tool and that is the start of our i'm just going to go a little bit further because it doesn't measure the same as the other side that's the start of our sleeves. So we just need to cut up underneath the, the, um, the shirt front on either side. And then turn over and then that little bit gets folded back. And that is our, our sleeves done. So fold up and this top part, yeah, this top part is our, um, the neck of our shirt. So we're going to cut either side and just leave a small piece in the middle. And then before you actually press down, make sure you're happy with both sides and they're nice and even. And there we are. It looks great, doesn't it? Now you can make this into um in all sorts. You could make um I suppose a football shirt, um tropical Hawaiian uh for holidays. Um I'm sure you'll think of uh, lots of things to make. Now for the tie, I've decided just to to actually put a straight piece. Now I'm using a pink one here, it's a bit sparkly, but um, I still think it looks nice. Just measure where you want the length to. And then we're just going to cut, make make a, a point for the end of um, for the end of the tie. Now I'm going to add glue dots here. It's a lot easier than than trying to uh, mess about with them um, with liquid glue. 
You can even put little pocket on the front. You can even make it into a Christmas shirt. So just, just pop a glue dot at the top. a little press and then I'm going to pop one at the bottom just to keep it um, nice and secure and then a glue dot on either side of uh, the shirt collar I'm just pressing ever so lightly I don't want it really like flat on the uh, on the shirt so just let's give it a light press and there we are and i think that looks better uh than having one with um a knot in because it i didn't think it um but you try and see what you think so i'll be back very soon with another project and i hope you give this a go thank you for joining me and bye bye